Okay, I'm starting another video. When I focused in the video, it wouldn't let me focus back out again. So because of it, I have to start another video. Um, I'll probably include that clip because I already got some lights over there and I showed you a map. I will also show you the map again in this video. Um, it feels like a choppy arrangement, but I don't care. Because for people who actually want to know what the truth is and can check this, they can check it. I changed also from 30, 60 to 30. I took advantage of the fact that I had to start this over again. So now this is 30 frames per second, which is a better color rendition. And you can even see that purple without me zooming in now. Interestingly, when I shut my camera off, it will pull, it'll retract it anyway. So it's not even a mechanical issue with this. Something programmatic about it, it won't let me zoom in. I mean, unzoom it for some reason if I zoom too far in. It could be some kind of power saving thing so that it can keep also filming at the same time and can't put all of its juice into pulling the thing back. I don't know how that works. Because then maybe the film would end or something like that. Or there would just be a blank spot in your recording when you wanted to zoom back in. I'm not sure. But I notice if this thing gets nudged at all before I've ended a film, it deletes everything too. So. Maybe that power outage of too much power being used on this thing to also record and also retract the zoom is a reason that they do that, I'm not sure. So I'm not actually getting full juice to retract it, and that's not enough juice to retract it, if that makes any sense. Anyway, that's three more purple lights. This is US-41 here. These are very yellow lights here. There's somebody ahead of me here, so I'm going to try not to film them. So there are a bunch of purple lights in this neighborhood in juxtaposition with an evacuation route. Usually they put these lights directly on the road at important intersections to mark evacuation routes, but they want to be sneaky here. So maybe when there's chemical gas or something like that and people want to leave. All right, they're not there anymore, they passed me, so. Can I appeal to the viewer to please start sharing this stuff? like especially the map videos so people can look at it. I don't even care what you do to actually share the stuff. Share it. Like share the link directly. Uh, do whatever you want to do to let other people see it. Don't even use my name. Take credit for it, I don't care. Share this stuff so people can see that they're setting these lights up to mark evacuation routes and they're doing it on purpose. See these? Yeah, orange is a pretty strong color, and they're brighter even. You can even see that, right? Well, oh, they just did it for the camera, guys. It's definitely the right and left side of the car. Okay, the camera is right there, though. Why can't they see that? Why wouldn't they be able to see it, guys? If this is for a satellite, which I can already tell you what the problem is with that, but let, let's say it's for a satellite and they want a satellite up there to watch, look down and see the left and right sides of a vehicle or something weird. Or they wanted to focus in on this spot, right? So they used a specific color of light, however, that wasn't even that color at the beginning that only the satellite can see that we can't see. And they didn't know they were even gonna turn purple before. Okay, let's say that that's the case, right? 
they keep putting these a let's let's start over here they have a camera that can see them already they don't need these fucking lights to see it they even have city cameras that can see the stuff why they would need china or russia or another country to see it i have no idea guys why would they do that do you think they would need the purple lights to see it they want to tell them to let guys look over here at these people if it's just for our satellites, and also we don't care if China or Russia sees it, let me ask you this. Why do they need to see it from satellite? Why can't they trust the actual footage directly that, that's there already to, to watch people? Why can't they trust that footage? Do they, do they edit, do they splice footage on those, those cameras and stuff like that you see at intersections? But they don't want to splice it for people in other countries. Do they trust other countries more than they trust the public here, or what? Start fucking, start, start thinking about it, guys. Because you'll come to some conclusions that I've come to, and you'll realize there's a problem. They're lying to us about these lights. These lights are absolutely on purpose, guys. This is marking an evacuation route. Why do they only want to, if this is to watch people, why do they want to watch people only at important chemical gas evacuation routes? Like where you'd want to get the fuck out of this area and not die with the rest of the population at 2 a.m. Why would they do that, guys? Why? By the way, guys, what, wouldn't those, could those cameras get a little bit messed up and be like, oh... They could be looking at some other road inside of this neighborhood. Oh, that's a cycling light, by the way. This light cycles. It's another indicator to me. It's in the mercury vapor phase right now. Huh. By the way, at the gas station way down there at, I think, San Marcos Road. They have one that's either cycling or just stays in the mercury vapor phase. These lights are still yellow, by the way. It's just getting lighter outside and it's harder to tell. If you, if you do the research I've done, this cooks the fuck out of there not being problems, guys. There are absolutely problems, guys, coming up here. The pandemic is also a problem to me. There are, pro there are fucking problems, guys. There are lies and there are things that people need to do research about. I've been trying to share this stuff for a year with people and I know the caveats. And I know how hard it is to get people to see it. How fucking easy it is to get somebody to see something like, yeah, these, these purple lights search so they can see if you got the jab. I would get a whole bunch of fucking views if I wanted to do that. Guys, that's not what it is. Maybe they do that. But that's not all it is. In fact, I would be more concerned about what they want to check, like this one guy says. Um, I don't remember the I don't remember the doctor's name, but uh, the one of the people who's interviewing the guy, I think her name, she has Ruby in her name. I just can't remember her whole name. Uh, he points out that. In the sciences, we will actually put like green fluorescent protein and stuff like that, like put that actual gene, splice the gene into something or make it so that if it successfully gets um, spliced into the genome or expressed, that green fluorescent protein will only then be expressed. And when that's expressed, we can see it on a microscope by um, using ultraviolet light we can see that that protein got expressed. So we know that it was successful. So, I mean, in that, in, in cases like that, even though that is a little bit concerning, if you think about it, and maybe the, those lights don't have anything else quenching it around them, or, I mean, there's no, there's like, isn't, you can actually see the fluorescence somehow if you have something really sensitive. But these videos that show them like being visible, I don't buy that shit at all. I don't buy it at all. I think they're fake. In fact, I think it's a red herring against the bigger issue here, which is these lights may not have even meant to have been become purple. And they were still putting just those certain kinds of lights up at evacuation routes for us not to be able to tell. 
and this was also something they did. If they knew that they were going to become purple, though, when they started using these, they got pretty sneaky in Southwest Florida. That's all I'm going to say. Southwest Florida is pretty sneaky about it. They don't tend to put them directly on the roads, and they're doing the same damn thing. My guess is that they didn't have a lot of purple lights around here like they do in some of the other places, and it was more obvious. Or there was some problem with putting them up everywhere for some reason. So they specifically put them in certain places to disguise them as prettier lights that they put in neighborhoods or at gates. But they don't do it in all of them, they just do it in the ones that are really important, like by important areas. That's a conspiracy, guys. To tell us it's just a factory defect, that's a... And it's not on purpose, that's a load of shit. In a little bit here, I'm going to show you. So this is Charles Estates, I think, coming up here where that guy's flashes are on. I just can't prove that yet. There are purple lights in there. And even right behind this wall right here, there are just a little bit behind this wall, there are purple lights. We can't see them. You have to actually drive into the neighborhood to see those lights. Here, at least viewed from there, it's pretty easy to miss those purple lights with a, with a yellower color light right here in the foreground almost. At least if these lights were... The lower these lights, the less likely you are to see those lights. I was looking for the lights though, and I found them. I don't know for somebody who's not looking for them, how many people would even see them unless they live in that neighborhood. If they live in that neighborhood, almost every light's that color, they probably don't think much of it. They may have kind of gotten used to it. In fact, because every light's that way, they may not even think of it as a defect. And here, I don't think in the Fort Myers news, we have news about defective lights because they're so rare. And then when they're used, they're usually in private areas or near the Cape Coral or the Midpoint Bridge, for example. I mean, I think much of it, which is an evacuation route, right? So there's a purple light right there. That sign, and I'm gonna prove this here in a moment. This is West Wind, by the way. It's also another thing you can look at to find where I'm at. I'm gonna walk across this. Walking across US 41 or Tamiami Trail. That's looking eastward. It's looking westward. Sun is rising. Got this wall here. Any vehicle stalling in this area, guys. Especially before those poles, I guess. Anything that's stalling over here may not make it to this wall, but if it does, it's likely to actually end up turning sideways. Maybe, well, I guess maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm not sure of what would happen for sure. Maybe do a cookie or whatever. But you're not getting around those, those vehicles. There's a wall. Unless it's like right here. And looking at it like this, guys, what do you see? Yeah, you're not gonna, the, gar, the cars aren't going off the road. They will still keep blocking the road. And I can show you this too. See the railing right there? See that? They do this around evacuation routes or important areas sometimes that I've noticed. So this is a purple light and that is Charles Estates. There are actually 15 purple lights that I've already counted in this area. I'm going to pause this real quick. I want to ask them when they turn purple because that would be really interesting to find out. 
It looks like there used to be a bunch of solar panels over here instead of this neighborhood, actually. If I remember right, or somewhere around here. Maybe it's not this neighborhood, but it's a different neighborhood, maybe. That there are solar panels on maps. I don't think that they're there anymore. But there are at least 15 of those lights to my right in the Charles Estates neighborhood. Okay, to my right, where there's a break in this wall, but they still got a fence right here. We got a church. It's really hard to show you, but there are mercury vapor rich lights in this parking lot. There's a purple light in the neighboring neighborhood right there. There are also purple lights on this side and behind this in that neighborhood. This is right next to US 41. At about the last point, you can turn onto this road. There's actually one area where you can turn onto it, and I don't know that you could even get through there without getting, there might be a gated neighborhood somewhere there. Um, and that's really, that's like right there. This is basically at the last point, guys. Besides the gated neighborhood, uh, the Sandpiper Road. They do it on purpose. There's a purple light right there. lights just shut off so these lights are all gonna shut off real soon still it looks like there's a wall around this anyway it as green on camera right now but these lights some of these lights show up green on camera maybe besides that one that pair over there here let me just show you see So yeah, yep, that theory seems to hold pretty well. That's not 100% and with mercury vapor rich lights, there are a lot of lights like this in parking lots near important intersections and sometimes where I'm not really sure, but when there's a lot of them though, when there are several of them, it usually means it's an important area. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you besides the map where I am just to show you. Even though you can actually really look at that in Naples and find it, but let me just show you real quick. I'm right here. This is the Naples area. Or Myers. Yep. Not lying. Alright, well that's it. 